the brief was that um, there's so much confusion about climate change out there and there's, there seems to be a different green initiative every week. Um, the people are sort of becoming you know, fatigued with it all. And so the BBC wanted to do something that would create cut through and, and help people get rid of this confusion. But they wanted to do it in a, a way that is, was different to everything else. So um, the rest was just noise and this was quite clear. And also spoke, spoke to the audience in, in a way that they understood, um, that wasn't very dead scientific. We realised that people like collecting things, they like beautiful imagery, uh, rightly or wrongly we're in a very sort of image conscious world and we sort of tapped into that and so we're in this beautiful environment where by pledging to do something you get given these amazing flowers that are all generated from, from code. Um, through that you then are given the information as well. So your raison d'etre for doing it might be because you want a nice beautiful flower. It might be that, but on the back of that, you then go, well, actually, there's a very serious issue here, and have a read of this, and then you might go, actually, I can, this thing is quite simple to do, and it might be, we've got things from, like, uh, simple switching off lights to right all the way through to never taking flights, you know, and, it, and it's up to you where you want to be on that spectrum. Is it possible for a company to encourage its staff to be creative? Uh, I don't know, I don't... We, it's a difficult one to answer that. Yeah, we're know. definitely not having a brightly coloured room with beanbags or you know, one company had, has a room with sand instead of carpet and you take off your shoes, uh, which is just bullshit. And another one where they, you're not allowed to sit down, you've got to stand up, so you have quick meetings. And all these things, that they're just for us, are just gimmicks. So, yeah... I, we don't tell people to get out as such. We, we tell people to try and observe the things around them when they're out there, whether they're on a train or, you know, on a bus or eating out, talking with people, all these things. That, and it's not something we consciously tell them. Hopefully, it's ingrained in how we do the work. It's, it's not written down. The problem is when you write stuff down, it suddenly becomes bullshit. I was in, you know, and, and you see it all the time. I was in an enterprise car rental the other week and um, on the wall was our brand of values and there was these guys look, you know, quite disheartened working in a crappy office <coughs> but there some advertising git had written the brand values down on some kind of brand compassy thing and it was just, it didn't mean anything to these guys at all but they've been told, they've got to put it on the wall and as soon as you do that it means absolutely nothing because they don't buy into it, and it's actually far easier for a company to go, right, we've had to think about this creativity thing and the brand values, and uh, we've made a chart, stick it on wall, job done. But it's, not, it, it's, not easy as, it's not as easy as that, it's an ongoing thing. How do you communicate all that in a pitch environment where you might be against two other agencies that are also doing good work and all those sort of things to do with price and delivery and all that sort of stuff? Just by being honest, um, and very passionate, I guess. You know, it's a word that keeps coming up, but um, and not lying, no, not no bullshit. You know, we, it's not like we've written this thing down and we we just go into the, a meeting and, and say this thing off a card and then come out and go, God, they really bought that, didn't they, idiots? And it's, I'd, I'd kill myself if we were like that. 